Hello everybody. Thank you for joining my channel today. Today I'm going to be playing a game called The Medium. I don't know much, only that it's something to do psychic investigating some kind of case. I believe Poland. Without further ado, in. It all starts with a dead girl. Of course it does. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. <laughs> wonder why she's so dirty. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home say goodbye to my father to dress him up for his last journey put him in a suit fix his tie simple just the things he did every day but looking through his stuff wasn't easy I needed a moment to pull myself together I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay. Find tie clip. 1899, huh? Alright, where would I be? <clears throat> Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. <laughs> that reminds me of Resident Evil. Yeah, it doesn't have any food. Looks nourishing I took the 
I give the kitty some. Here you go. What's your face? <laughs> Glad to see you're still kicking around. All right. I'll look. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, your dad. Jack. Been up for Illuminate photo for five. Depends. Oh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Okay. Tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. Probably in his bedroom. Kitty? Jack's room. It's like he never. Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack. He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Dead, right? I don't know Jack. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Whoa, bad kitty. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Hold L E to right. Tie clip. <clears throat> Get to the funeral. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. It was adopted? I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. All right.
We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Here. I run. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. The last goodbye. Jack's in the prep room. Prepare Jack for his last. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. <laughs> of course. It. Who did? Do you have light? Here it is. Definitely Resident Evil vibes. Jack looks like. Using my light to see if uh, any ghosts are near. it's going to be in a creepy basement. <sighs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. <laughs> you and me both. Jack. I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? with clip. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I 
Guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. people read the signs it's closed uh oh oh come on our jack for last journey done check upstairs Shadow. Hello? Sign said closed. That's supposed to be here. Excuse me, this is private property. You felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. So much for aging gracefully. <laughs> Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. 
I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. His face is all Jessica. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided, torn between two realities. But no, I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Oh. What did you say? Like her dream. The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. Uber. little intro. And off I went on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. 
But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. I like the music. Set in the town here. A little creepy. resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. <laughs> right. Okay, gotta get through the gates. Use my insight. No? Probably Anyone a good thing. home? I guess not. Artless. The window. <laughs> the front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Here on the side. You want to keep me out, Neva? They're going to have to do better than that. Hey, we got through. Take your way deeper into the resort. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. Mm -hmm. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Neva. I can run now. Random ball being thrown. <laughs> oh. Well, actually, even there. Oh. Saw that. Wait. Oh. Put LB to activate. Huh. Be inside. Oh. 
What's this? Obviously wanted us to see this. E and K, like eight. Due to the recently unearthed remains, renovation works here have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Bodies. Yes, your feet are going to be here. Happened here. place had a story to tell well I guess I was there to listen boy I'm getting okay here we go dead like everything else in this place Focus on spirit world. Yeah, not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. Yeah, those aren't creepy. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this war? is glowing. Power. Probably could use that to um, open that gate, I bet. I don't like having the two screens because I can see her spirit world, which means I can see ghosts. Figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Old RT RJ Spirit Black. Oh, so that worked. 
good for you, Marian. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Arms, so I guess. Arches? So there I was, existing ah. in two worlds, but never really living in either. Fire hazard. Monkey, Steps are back, so that's a good sign. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. I don't think that phone's supposed to be ringing. I'm here. No, it's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. I'm here. No, it's definitely self. Trust me, yes. Even the objects here had auras. 
When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Hello? Anybody in there? Hmm. Just your ghost friends? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Looked right at it, dude. Shit. The handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. <laughs> huh? Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. Do. That door, get the dumpster, move it over. Dickers. Your feet. Or she went through the building. Wait, Summer of 1969, inauguration, the first secretary of the Polish United Workers Party. The air of chalk going this way. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. I love stuff to the But it's good work on work. Anything I can use as a handle? Hope you don't mind if I uh, pop your trunk. Oh, screwdriver. Here. Although, this could come in handy. Ow! Shit! What the hell? Okay. Keep your horn by yourself. Go get a Neva. began the great dumpster heist of 1999. <laughs> Roger that, I want to... <laughs> My little ghost friend would help me push. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it.
Careful of the broken glass. It's true. The Neva Massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. Right there. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You buddy? You there? Just the lights flickering. Thomas? Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. <laughs> I should keep ringing. I mean... And there's be damn Stay in a lot. Break. Answer the bell. Well. Pretty cheerful to me. <laughs> well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm. Massacre. I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This 
place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So... Tell me, what happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a, a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey. I was wondering, have you seen... Mary Ann? <gasps> yes. Well, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with any... Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, I'm Mary Ann! I'm for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? way <laughs> damn I need to get up there somehow beat sadness on the second floor. all right you will go ahead and call it here it's about an hour and it's almost one in the morning for me and also my birthday so Thank you for watching. I will be posting the next episode shortly. Definitely loving the vibe and the feel of this game. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.